Here we are at Werner Park. Almost set for soccer on a Saturday evening in Papillion, Nebraska, the greater Omaha metro, of course, as these two sides take to the pitch. He gets the chance to start tonight. Corey Herzog and Noe Meza pairing together up top. They combined on a great goal a week ago. There you see the records and the point totals. Omaha with just the two defeats all year long as that long ball bounces over Holiday's head and bounces into the back of the net. What a start for Union Omaha. 30 seconds in, who got the final touch? Who cares? Is that Kevin Piedrahita's goal? Is that a goalie goal? I think it is. Talk about an opportunity. Nobody expected this. All the way through, big bounce. Holiday caught out. 1-0. Again, it's a strange pitch. As you see, John Bradford in his first season as NCFC's head coach, but he's been with the organization for a long time. Now, opportunity, Corey Herzog! It's two! Corey Herzog playing for his old college coach scores for his new club. The second all-time leading scorer in USL championship history as his first in League One. He'd stepped on the pitch for Omaha this year. It came from another long ball and just not dealt with. Handed right to Herzog. That is calamitous defending. Brito tracks it down by the corner flag. Brito serves it in just over Mesa's head. Runs through for Herzog. Corey Herzog curling it back for Mesa and just missed his head. Right-footed strike then flies over the bar. And it is all Omaha in these early stages. Now over the top, another bouncing ball. Noe Mesa is onto it. Noe Mesa trying to lob the keeper. Noe Mesa does exactly that. And it's all Owls in the first 16 minutes tonight. It's three straight games with a goal for Noe Mesa. It's three goals for Omaha. Are they already headed for three points tonight? Again, it's a simple long ball. Again, it's the bounce that fools the defenders. This time, Jordan Skelton was stranded, and boy, that is still a classy finish from Noe Meza. Good delivery needed. Good delivery it is, and there's Piedra Hita with the save. Still loose, Piedra Hita, another touch, didn't get all of it. Left-footed effort, there's Piedra Hita again. Tipping it over the bar. Oh, and a red card's coming out. Nelson Flores Blanco is set off. Let's see if we can see it here. The initial foul, oh, it's for booting the ball into Brito right after the foul, apparently. And then did he do something else during the ensuing scrum? See, that was what Omaha were so upset about, kicking it right into Brito's back. And that's why the Owls came and surrounded. There's a nice ball by Meza. Luis Heel, a little bit behind Herzog. Has to go back to retrieve it and leaves it for Jiba. Herzog into the box. Meza takes it down. Noe Meza looking for his second. And it's cleared off the line as it took a wild double deflection. They've shown a couple of looks already from these corner kicks tonight. Brito takes a conventional one this time. Back post, headed right on and headed in. It's a second of the night for Noe Meza. It's a fourth for Omaha. He can't stop scoring. They can't stop scoring tonight. That surely puts it away for the Owls. They're headed for three more huge points. They do score from a set piece. Headed on initially by Alex Touche, who will get the assist there, and Meza. Now Meza, who is on a hat trick now, if he could score another. No, he wants to. He might have an opportunity here. Clean through is Joe Brito. Joe Brito beaten away by Nicholas Holliday. Has not been his night. Has not been any of his teammates' nights, really. Oh, and then that's given away. And Galvan might be in. He was taken down. Foul. Free kick. That's Fisher, who got himself in trouble. And then will go into the book as a result. And Britton Fisher, I think, was shown two yellows in a row. It's where the two yellow cards occurred. The first one's pretty obvious. He gives it away and then just hauls Galvan down as Galvan was in on goal. 
and then he kicks the ball away. That must have been the second. Galvan was in entirely there, but NCFC did have a defender to the left who might have been able to intercept him, so I think that's why he didn't do that. Now, the free kick from the edge of the box, back for Mazo, hits the top of the bar. That close to a hat trick for Noe Mazo. As his team has gone through a difficult period, what nice footwork that is. Nicholas Rincon in here on the end line. Rincon stabbing it into the middle, and it's bundled home. What a goal for NCFC with nine men. You can see why.